Well, studies have found that the use of certain hair products has been associated with breast and ovarian cancers. Now, a newly released study has identified a significant association between a specific type of hair product and a different cancer. Dr. Frank McGeorge here with what you need to know. Doc. Yeah, Kim and Evan, it's concerning. You know, hair product use is associated with increased exposure to endocrine disrupting chemicals. Those are chemicals that alter the balance between estrogen and progesterone in the body. Now, some hair products also expose the users to chemicals like formaldehyde and other probable carcinogens. And now the focus is especially on hair straighteners. A new study published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute that followed nearly 34,000 women over more than 10 years found hair straighteners were specifically associated with an increased risk of developing uterine cancer. In the study, women were asked how often, if ever, they used hair products. These included permanent dyes, semi-permanent dyes, bleaches, highlights, and straighteners. It turns out that only women who reported ever using hair straighteners in the past 12 months had a higher risk of uterine cancer. Women who reported ever using hair straighteners had an 80% higher risk of uterine cancer. And for women who reported frequent use, defined as more than four times per year, the risk was more than two and a half times higher. Now, one other way to look at it is the average risk of developing uterine cancer by age 70 is about 1.6%, but it jumps to 4% for those who frequently use hair straighteners. Data shows black women may be at more risk because they start using these products at a younger age, generally use more of the products, and often use harsher chemical formulations. Now, this is just adding to a growing body of information on the potential hazard of hair care products, especially as they are marketed to women of color. Previous studies have also linked, um, show or suggest links rather to lower sex steroid levels, uterine fibroids, and an earlier menarche, which is the age when the menstrual cycle usually begins. So there are a lot of potentially disruptive issues with these hair care products. Yeah, I was just wondering what the study and research said about African-American women in particular, mm -hmm. because I started straightening my hair maybe when I was in sixth grade, right around that time, you know? Yeah. And it's harmful, harmful chemicals that, that burn. Yes. And you have to think that, and they're getting in your skin, is, is, and that's how they, they, they get into the system, apparently. Well, that and, is actually partially true but in point of fact you know um, women more often you also use things like flat irons or curlers or a blow dryer with heat when these chemicals are actually heated it changes them and it makes them more easily absorbed oh. also of course you did mention skin contact but think about it if the scalp is burned either physically or chemically mm -hmm. that will also increase the absorption rate so there are a lot of other reasons that these chemicals might be getting into the body more easily than just ordinary skin or scalp. Ah, it makes content. a lot of sense. The chemical you put on may not be the one that it is there after you've heated it. That's exactly right. it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there's so much. This just scratches the surface, but it's a really great yeah. study. Ah, yeah. So sure good. Is, so yeah. good. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Doc.